Hello my peeps, it's Antoinette here. Tomorrow morning is uh, week two weigh-in, uh, but tonight I uh, just wanted to make some breakfast, so I'm going to make um, an egg loaf. If you don't know about the egg loaf, which <laughs> uh, if you've been around the keto for a while, you've been living under a rock, but uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, and nice and high fat. So here it goes. We're gonna take a block of cream cheese. It's eight ounces. Put it in a bowl. Then we're also going to add eight eggs. It's such a simple uh, recipe. Sam I am is the creator of this recipe uh, from Instagram, but uh, I don't know if she's on there anymore because I can't find her. I, I looked, couldn't find her. Okay, I'm just using the Happy Farms, the Aldi's variety of uh, cream cheese. Here I have eight cracked eggs. I'm just gonna dump them in. You don't even need to mix it first. Then, um, one stick of butter. Now I've got the Kerrygold. This is two sticks. So I'm going to cut it in half. I had it out tonight uh, to soften up a bit, both the butter and the cream cheese. All right. So one stick going in. That there is the basic recipe. So next, you're gonna put in whatever you want. Now this does have a French toast taste to it. Um, I have the real vanilla. Starting to see the vanilla bean in there for my coworker, Lori. Love this stuff. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of vanilla in here. Again, you put in here whatever you want. Um, I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of my Cook's maple extract. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, there it goes. Okay, and then you could put in some cinnamon, but I'm not going to because I've got that leftover grown uh, pro granola cereal, so I'm going to put that instead. But I love cardamom, uh, and I used to keep this by my coffee because you can mix it in with the coffee grounds. It's really good. Uh, it says, uh, add a quarter teaspoon of coffee, cake, apple pie, Danish pastry, sprinkle in coffee. Uh, oh, before brewing in the coffee grounds, yeah. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this on. Not too much, just a bit. Okay, so I have the pro granola cereal. I, I purposely picked out the finer part of this. And um, but I'm gonna put in two tablespoons. This should be really flavorful. And that is it. So I'm going to preheat the oven to 350, uh, mix this up with my beater. Uh, it takes no time at all. And then we're gonna get it in the oven after I show it to you. So uh, I'll be right back. isn't even preheated yet and I got this all cleaned up and that whipped up that's how quick and easy this is so I'm using for the first time my pioneer woman a beautiful ceramic uh, a baking dish this is uh, 8 by 12 it's the smaller one so I lightly sprayed it and I'm just gonna pour this beautiful egg mixture it's kind of clumpy it has a uh, 
consistency of cottage cheese is what I always thought. Oh, I need the spatula. Let me grab it. Oh, here. Get all that loveliness in here. All right, now you can also top it with a little, you know, little bit of cinnamon or anything. Nutmeg, maybe. Um, but I think I have enough flavor in there with uh, that Pro Granola cereal crunch. So, uh, all right. Now I'm at 300 degrees. When I hit 350, it's going in the oven and it's going to take 50 minutes, five zero, approximately, depending on your oven. We'll see when it comes up. It's beautiful. So what I like to do is grab my favorite skinny syrup, and uh, I love, you know, my maple bourbon pecan. You can tell that there's not much left. I put this in my coffee, I put it on everything. But, so I'm just going to drizzle a little bit on top. Isn't she pretty? I'll tell you what she is. She is delicious. So good. And this heats up very well. Hmm. 171.6. Okay. So after the weigh in, all right, I was a little disappointed, but, uh, not really, because, you know, that is a lion scale. So, I wasn't going to measure until week five, um, but I decided to measure today uh, because I knew that I was really good this week. I was really good. And so I measured and I lost three inches. Of course, you know, I'm the apple shape, so it's really hard to lose this. But uh, I lost an inch in the hips and uh, an inch in the thighs and the calves. That's where I lose it first. So three inches lost. Now, so I'm up uh, about three quarters of a pound from last week. But here on day 15, I'm still down 3.6 pounds in 15 days. So I'm happy with that. So here's my, here's my journal. Okay, now I will tell you, I didn't go work out at all this week and uh, I have all kinds of excuses <laughs> that I could tell you but uh, yeah I was pretty darn busy because I did Christmas this place and I got everything organized it's beautiful right now I'm very happy everything it, it's clean everything's put away under the steps all the Christmas stuff and uh, I mean, of course, I always do get three to four dog walks a day, but I never did make it to the gym because I was just, you know, trying to get this all done. So I'm happy with this week. How did you do this week? Comment below. Share it. All right. I know I keep saying I to work on that Facebook group, Lake Country Keto. Um, it's it's way high in my list and I'm also working on 
uh, my camera because I did uh, I charged the battery I read the book so uh, it's coming soon I will let you know but the the shirts and the journal are still up for the taking and uh, a, a couple of people have commented to be in the drawing so I decided to put a deadline on it uh, I'm going to do the drawing on February 15th all right there you have it peeps thanks for coming by for another video make that egg loaf it's so good and it only has a trace of a carb in it so we will see you uh, next time which will be very soon sometime this weekend we'll see you then